Don't you wish your robot vacuum cleaner emptied itself out? Also, mop your floors? Well, wish no more. Hey guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Sound a little bit sicker than normal, but I'm the same dude. Over the past few years, I've been covering plenty of robot vacuum cleaners on my channel. It got to the point where they were pretty much the same. But I will say each year the bar is raised with the tech inside of these things and a lot of features that were high end just about six months ago are now standard features. The N8 Plus is blurring the line between mid-level pricing and high-end performance. Now before we get into it too far, if you love tech from the smart home to the smartphone, make sure you tap on that sub button and ring that bell notification so you'll be notified when I make another video. This is the D-Bot Osmo N8 Plus. It's a $600 robot vacuum cleaner that comes with an auto empty station. Now typically, if you want this feature, it comes separately, but that would actually push the total price up to nearly $1,000 for most brands. So this is a huge benefit with this robot vacuum cleaner right out of the gate, that it comes with this feature. Now on the surface, it looks like all the other D-Bot models that I covered in the past. It has a sleek black cover with only one button up top. Now there's a laser turret that protrudes and that gives it its guidance and its navigation more on that later. Under the lid, you'll find its dustbin and its main brush. On the very bottom, there are several sensors, wheels, side brushes, and all that stuff that makes this thing work. If you've never seen a modern day D-Bot vacuum cleaner, then you'll be in for a treat. It uses LiDAR to map your space before it cleans. It goes around the edges of the rooms and fills in the blank on this little map that you can look at right on your phone. Now after that's done, the next time it's in the same room, it'll start cleaning without doing the mapping as long as the room configuration has not changed a lot. So yes, it memorizes the room and then it knows how to clean it next time. And it's also smart enough to have multiple maps. So if you move the bot and the base station, it'll know the new room or the floor that you put it in. I live in a tri-level home and I've tested this on the third level and the second level and it remembers what level I put it on. So when I put it there, I turn it on, it just says, oh, this is, I recognize this area and it starts cleaning like nothing has ever changed. Now, once the cleaning is done or if the battery is low or the bin gets full, it goes back to its auto empty station and it empties the bin. Then it will charge up if it needs to, then it'll resume the cleaning schedule. When it empties itself out, it's a pretty loud vacuuming sound. Then all that waste goes into the hypoallergenic disposable dust bags. Now each bag can hold up to a month worth of cleaning. I've used this for about two months now and mostly hardwood. And I can say that this bag still has a lot of room in it as I keep my floors pretty clean and carpet obviously is different than hardwood, but your miles may vary. Now after using an auto empty station, I've never considered another robot vac or I've never recommended one unless it has this feature. Not having to empty out the robot manually after every clean it has really spoiled me as far as what I'm expecting out of my next robot vacuum cleaner. Also dumping out that little bin on robot vacuum cleaners, um, sometimes that's the messiest part of the whole thing. It can spill over and I mean, I've had experiences like that where you're trying to like put in the dustbin and then you open it wrong or you, it pops open. You don't have to worry about none of that anymore. It just goes automatically into the auto empty station. This vacuum also does mop as well. It's a pretty small water tank on the back and then you attached a mopping pad to it. You need to wet it ahead of time. What's neat is that when it's mopping, it can detect if it's going over a rug or carpet and it automatically stops mopping and then it resumes vacuuming. It's pretty slick seeing all this in action and it keeps your rugs dry in the process. I remember I was using a different brand and I had it set to mop mode and it like went over all of my rugs that I had in the kitchen, like near the sink and stove and they were soaking wet. This right here turns off the mopping feature right when it touches that surface and that right there is really, really nice. Now it's not a deep mop like we saw with the T8 that I covered last year, but it's good enough to keep the floor shining with a nice surface clean. If you're interested in the T8, which is a little bit more high end, it does this pulsating mode. And uh, if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link down below and up top in the cards as well. Now, if you wanna take a look at the app, I think it's featured packed. So one thing I like about it is that it shows in the house where the N8 Plus is at after it maps out the rooms. You can see it cleaning and moving around the rooms. You can set no-go zones and zones where it shouldn't mop. You can also name the room. So after dinner, I can tell it, go clean the dining room. and It'll make its way over, clean it, and I can also just highlight a section of the dining room, like where my son sits, 
and the robot just goes, does its thing, and heads back to the auto empty station. There are so many nifty features built right into it, and I'll just talk about some of my favorite ones, otherwise this video will be way too long. It has automatic scheduling, power levels, water levels, and easy maintenance. Now robot vacuum cleaners do require a little bit of maintenance to keep them running the best, like some of the brushes and, and filters and things like that. Right in the app, it tells you how much life you have available and then how you can purchase it. It's no longer a guessing game where you don't have to wait for a part to fail, which is definitely nice. I know it's hard to make a robot vacuum cleaner sound sexy, it's just one of those things that sort of just runs in the background. You don't have to focus on it. You don't have to really maintain it too much. You just let it do its thing, whether it's a schedule or whether it's after dinner, you just kind of kick it off or however you want to use it. This robot is just a simple way to sort of keep that house clean, keep that those surface levels looking clean. Of course, there are deeper integrations built right into the app if you want to tinker with stuff and you know dive into it a little bit more but if you want more of a simpler experience you can do that as well of course for me the auto empty station is thus the winner that it's included with it and that right there is just huge now overall for 600 bucks this is just a great entry point into getting a robot cleaner with basic autonomous features that has the power to clean deep into carpets and mop floors automatically now i'm always excited to check out the competition but they have a ways to go to match up to the performance to the price and also it comes with the auto empty station which by itself is worth a couple hundred bucks Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you want to pick it up, hit the links down below, of course. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.